Hello everyone, my name is Chef Dan Hogan and I'm one of two of the culinary instructors here at Manuel Career Technical Center with the Kansas City Public Schools. Today's lesson is going to be my, one of my favorites. One, because it's a dessert. Um, two, because it's really simple and it's really quick and it's also very delicious. So our dessert today is going to be a shortcake. All right. Traditionally, it's a berry shortcake or a strawberry shortcake, but we're going to do a couple little twists today just to make it a little bit more interesting. So the first component of our shortcake is going to be the shortcake itself. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is make a biscuit. This is a typical biscuit that's very easy to make, very simple. These are our ingredients right here. We have all-purpose flour. So we have our measuring cups. We're gonna measure out two cups of flour. So we wanna make sure that our cup is full so that we get a proper measure. All right, let's get a little bit more in there. All right. So we're gonna put all of our dry ingredients into a bowl. We have our two cups of flour. Next, we have baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. We're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Even though this is a dessert, we still want a little bit of salt in there just to help bring out the flavor of the other ingredients. We want two teaspoons of sugar. And we have four ounces of butter. So right now my hands are clean. So I'm gonna get my, my dry ingredients nice and mixed with a fork. And we're gonna put our cube chilled butter right into our dry ingredients. So now we're just gonna kinda of choke up on our fork a little bit. Cause we're just gonna get in there and squish the, our chilled butter up against the side of the bowl to smush it. All right, that's one technique. I'm gonna show you another technique. I like to just get in there with my hands. Now, as Chef Tom mentioned in his video, I don't have to wear gloves for this because this is not a ready to eat food. All right, obviously these biscuits are gonna be baked, so I do not need gloves on for this. However, you do have to wash your hands before you get in here and start mixing with your hands. Okay, we're almost ready. So one important tip when making biscuits is you wanna leave your butter a little bit chunky. We'll just kind of sift through that and kind of see some of the chunks of butter. You want to see some chunks of butter in there, no bigger than like a size of a pea or a, an eraser head. All right. So now that we have our butter cut into our dry ingredients, we're going to add some water. So we want ice cold water. We want three fourths of a cup but we don't want ice in there. And the amount of liquid may vary depending on the time of the year. If it's very dry, then you may have to add a little bit more moisture to your, your biscuits. If it's very wet and humid, you may not need as much. Just gonna get in there and give that a mix. And I think we may need a little bit more liquid. Now this recipe is very versatile. Um, today we're using it as a shortcake for dessert, but you also can just use it just as a breakfast biscuit or if you wanted to do like beef stew or for an entree, you can just use this same recipe. I would just subtract the sugar. That way it's not as sweet. Right. 
So next, we're gonna get this turned out onto a floured surface. And then we're gonna bring it together on our table. So that, that did not take long at all. You don't wanna overmix it. Um, if you overmix it, you're gonna develop the gluten in it. And the gluten is what's gonna make, if you ever had a biscuit that's tough and rubbery and just not flaky, not very good, more than likely the gluten was overdeveloped. So to keep from overdeveloping the gluten, you wanna handle it as little as possible. I don't like to use a rolling pin when I make my biscuits. Uh, one, it's just one more piece of equipment that I have to clean up. And as you can see, your hands are already covered with your ingredients. So I just like to use my hands. And you just wanna pat that out to about maybe half inch thick. All right. So two ways to cut your biscuits. We have a cutter. If you don't have a cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter, you can just use like a glass, just a regular drinking glass, and you'll get the same effect. All right. All right, so we're just gonna make two for now. We have our pan. All right. Next step before we put these into the oven, we're gonna brush our biscuits with a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna sprinkle the tops with sugar. Again, since this is for a dessert, we want a little bit extra sweetness on there. So we have our biscuits ready for the oven. So we're gonna come over to the oven. And to save time, we have some biscuits that are already made. Remember, those are gonna be hot coming out of the oven, so make sure you have a dry towel to take those out of the oven so you don't burn yourself. Okay, now that our biscuits are done, we're gonna work on the second component to our dessert, which is our filling. Again, typically a shortcake is strawberry shortcakes or a berry shortcake but I also bought some peaches so that we can do a peach shortcake. So any fruit can work with this. So whatever your favorite fruit is, if you just want to do a strawberry, if your family or yourself just like blackberries. So don't feel like constricted to just use one fruit. All right, the possibilities are endless. So let's start with the peaches. So we have a nice peach here. We're gonna cut that in half, right on the little seam. That's the best way to cut it. We're gonna cut down through the pit. Just give that a twist and it'll come right open. We have a paring knife. So again, I'm working with ready to eat food, so I have gloves on. So remember, what's a ready to eat food? A ready to eat food is anything that's gonna go from your cutting board or from a container straight into someone's mouth. So like all of this would be an example of a ready to eat food because it's fresh, it's ready to eat. Um, anything that has to be cooked, then you don't have to wear gloves because once you cook it, you're gonna kill any potential bacteria that may be on that food. Get our peaches cut. Yeah, it doesn't have to look pretty and fancy. You just want to get them cut uh, smaller than bite size. We'll get those in a bowl. I'm just going to set these aside for now. And then let's do some berries. We have some nice fresh raspberries. Some blackberries, we'll do a few strawberries. We got one that's already done. Strawberries, we're just gonna slice. Okay. 
got some really nice looking blackberries. The blackberries I am gonna cut in half just to help it get some of that juice out of them. Okay. Next ingredient is we're gonna add some sugar. And you can do this to your taste. If you want a sweeter dessert, you can add more sugar. You don't have to add sugar at all if you don't want it. Just depends on your preference. We're gonna add a little bit of orange juice to each one. So now what we're doing now, it's called macerating. Chef Tom talked about marinating, but with fruit, we're gonna macerate, right? So what this does, it just kind of the sugar and the acid from the orange, it's just gonna bring the natural juices and the nat natural, nat I can't say that word, natural liquid from the fruit, All right? So at this point, all we have to do is just give that a stir. All right. And it's best to do this at least four to six hours ahead of time. Overnight would be even better. Again, that way we can get maximum flavor from our fruit um, and just kind of let that fruit absorb the sugar, the orange, make it really taste good. And plus we're gonna see how much liquid. If you look now, there's not much liquid in there, but four to six hours later, we'll show you what it's gonna look like. All right, our last step to our shortcakes. Uh, we have our biscuits, that was the first step. We have our macerated fruit. So as I mentioned, if you take a look at this now, you'll see the difference. All of this is just the natural juice from the fruit. And that's what we want, because that's gonna be our sauce component for the shortcake. That way we have that moisture so that the shortcake isn't too dry. The last component is gonna be whipped cream. So I'm gonna show you guys the whipped cream is so easy, so simple, and it's pretty fast as well. It's much better than the Cool Whip, which you buy from the freezer. It's much, much better than that Ready Whip can. Once you try fresh, you'll never wanna eat that processed whipped cream again. So we have heavy cream in a mixing bowl. We wanna make sure it says heavy cream or whipping cream on the container. Any other milk product will not work, so it has to be heavy cream. We have some pure vanilla extract. And we have powdered sugar. Three ingredients, that's it. No, no preservatives, no chemicals, none of that stuff that's not good for you. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get in there and just whip it. See how loose it is now. And this is gonna take a few minutes to get it to this consistency. So by whipping it in a circular motion like I'm doing, you don't wanna stir it like this, like it's a cup of coffee. You actually wanna whip it. What that is allowing to happen is air to get into the cream and that air is gonna help fluff it. You do not have to do this by hand. You can use your electric mixer. That'll work just as fine. This will also give you a good workout. The way you can do it, one arm gets tired, just switch arms. Okay. So as you can see, it's already starting to thicken. So again, most important part about this dessert, use the ingredients that you like. Again, if you don't like peaches, use don't use peaches. If you like berries, if you like strawberries, just use strawberries, right? There's no one right way to eat this, or wrong way to eat it, rather. Do what suits you best. All right, see how that's almost thick? All right, we're gonna leave that for now. I have some that's already made. I'm just gonna clean up my little spot here. You will get a little bit messy, but it's worth it. 
So we're gonna make two. We're gonna do a berry and we're gonna do a peach. So we're just gonna take our biscuit. This is how I like to do mine. There's, again, no one way to do it. We're gonna get a nice spoonful of berries on there with some of that liquid. We're gonna put a nice big dollop of whipped cream on there. I like a lot of whipped cream, so. And then you're gonna put your cover on there. All right, let's do the peach real quick. So this one, we'll change it up. We'll put some whipped cream on the bottom. Again, there's no wrong way to do it. Put our peaches on there for a top. The last thing we can do is kind of dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar if you like. And they're ready to eat. All right, so I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this. I hope you learned something. I hope you try this really simple dessert. It's perfect time of the year for it. And enjoy, thank you.